So there are lots of different abilities inside of AccuFlow. One of them is rituals. Today I want to dive into how you can use rituals to start your day, plan it, and close it down and show you how that feature works. Today's video is kindly sponsored by AccuFlow. You can find them in the link in description. If you don't know what they are, very simply a task consolidation tool that brings in your tasks from lots of different apps and basically allows you to plan it in a application that brings them all into one place that allows you to project them into a calendar. Very interesting bit of tech at the moment. You can find it in the link in description if you are interested. Thanks to the team for sponsoring. So if you're new here as well, my name is Francesco and welcome to Keep Productive. Do subscribe to us if you fancy checking us out. So rituals, they're an ability inside of AccuFlow that you can have set up inside of settings. So if you go to settings, go down to rituals, you can set a daily planning one that happens at a certain time. Say you want to plan the next day, you can have that at six o'clock and you can choose the days that best suit you. So basically the concept behind it is to set up and close down. I really like this. Um, it's a methodology that I think everyone should do, a close down and a startup of your work. So here we are with AccuFlow and you can see the rituals pop down in the left hand corner. As it's later in my day, it's suggesting that I do the daily shutdown, but I'm actually going to do the, I'm doing the daily shutdown first and then I'll do the planning. So if I hit daily shutdown, what it's gonna do is I'm gonna review today's work and call it a day. So as you can see, you can see all of the events that I had during the day and how much time I spent on them. So it looks like I spent four hours and 33 minutes and I didn't add any tasks to my to-do list, but what I can do is I can add some of the tasks I missed or drag them across to my items. Now this is really helpful because you get a true idea of what you focused on during the day and it gives you an idea of how you can do better tomorrow, try not to overload yourself. Now, one thing you can do in the bottom left is actually done and share. Now, done and share allows you to copy and paste it. Now, for many people who work with um, maybe those who are, um, you know, professionals uh, in, in sort of manager levels, and you want to be able to share your day's work with your manager, you could have um, your to-dos that you've done, you had done, the things that you completed, and the events that you were in, in sort of attendance with, and copy it and paste it. This is a really cool feature if you're saving some time and you want to um, really get an idea for what's been done instead of them bantering you all the time. It's much better for asynchronous work for sure. Um, and let's show you how you can do daily planning. Now here's a good example of what uh, it is to review a day uh, that's before. So you can see that yesterday I did this and it gives you an idea of what goals you had, what tasks you did and what events you have um, ready for yesterday's work. And what you can do is bring it over to the next day. And you can see it alongside your inbox and your today area. So in this case, I might go, okay, I need to do this. I need to do this video. I need to do this video as well. And also this video. And they're all brought in from Notion. I'm also gonna bring in this item. And you can start to see that this reviewing of the today's work starting to fill up. Now I can do the following, I can share, because that might be helpful for my manager to see what I'm gonna to do to, at the start of the day. And I can even modify um, what the day looks like in here as well, when I'm trying to plan it. So this is best done at the start of the day, but if I press done, you can help this automatically set up every morning, and I'm gonna say yes to that. Celebrations, bravo, well done, everything is ready. And this is what it would look like if I use that tomorrow, say, for today. Um, and you can see that I can basically plan out all my to-dos using the inbox, making sure that I haven't dropped any from pending and keeping an eye on everything there. So I can go ahead and use some of the time blocking techniques to bring some of these in and make sure that I don't miss them for tomorrow. Obviously I have them in for today, but they're ready for tomorrow. I'm just giving you an example of how this rituals can be used. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how rituals can be beneficial for you an interesting function when it comes to trying to plot out your day ahead and using all of the different abilities, including some of the linked abilities from other experiences like Notion. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for stopping by. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I look forward to diving into more videos very soon. If you are interested in AccuFlow, check it out in the link in the description. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you soon.